श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर् ब्रह्मा गुरुर् विष्णु गुरुर् देवो महेश्वरः गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः देर आर टू वर्ड्स इन संस्कृत एज वेल एज इन इंग्लिश द वर्ड्स इन संस्कृत आर ज्ञानम एंड बोधा ज्ञान मीन्स नॉलेज बोध मीन्स एक्सपीरियंस नॉलेज कैन बी गिवन एक्सपीरियंस कैनॉट बी गिवन वी हैव टू हैव अवर ओन एक्सपीरियंस दिस इज नॉट अंडरस्टूड बाय द मैरिड पीपल देर फोर दे टेल द अनमेरिड पीपल वॉट इज देर इन द मैरिज डोंट गेट मैरिड एंड सफर एज आई एम सफरिंग दिस इज देयर नॉलेज बट एक्सपीरियंस दे कैनॉट गिव सो वॉट द पीपल डू दे गेट मैरिड एंड कम टू द सेम कंक्लूजन देर फोर वॉट वी आर स्टडिंग इज नॉट आत्मज ज्ञानम वी आर नॉट स्टडिंग आत्मज ज्ञानम द बुक इज आत्म बोध and nobody can have a proxy like you know in upasana they do the proxy they engage a pandit ji a purohit and tell him that pandit ji kindly do um what do you call mrutyunjay uh, mahamantra japa for me so they engage a pandit and the pandit does that so when the pandit ask uh, what about dakshina so the sadhi becomes you people are very greedy money 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 okay take one rupee and do maha mrutyunjay japa for me so the pandit the sadhi turns his face to go out so he has already engaged somebody to do japa for him in a fraction of second the pandit he says said ji japa is over how come so fast in 1 rupee this is the quality you get <laughs> see friends there is no proxy on the spiritual path there is a proxy in karma see there is proxy in upasana there is no proxy on spirituality therefore this is the first thing we have to clearly understand nobody can do it for us we have to live our life we have to die our death and we have to practice our own spiritual practice now the second thing what is the difference between religious practice upasana and the spirituality religious practice is conducted keeping in view this world is real yoga is practiced keeping in view the body is real upasana is practiced keeping in view the soul the jiva is real see these are the foundations on which these three are practiced karma yoga and upasana but when we come to the spiritual path then we ask a question first of all is this world real where we are suffering so much is this body real which we have not created see by this upasana whom we are propitiating is that god other than me where is he and what for i am doing when the inquiry sets in the other three are dropped they are upaya they are the means like when we came from home we came by a car car is a means so we drop the car outside the premises then we came with the slippers shoes the shoes are also required up to a particular limit beyond that there are no entrance see 
So when we entered here, now we sat here for listening, I hope. <laughs> now here also we have to drop the listener. And I am listening. Let listening happen without a listener being created. See friends, these are the steps through which we have to go. And this will lead to the Atma Bodha. All the problems are only because of incomplete thinking. Instead of correcting the thinking, Patanjali tells Chitta Vritti Nirodaha Yogaha. Stop thinking. Stopping thinking is not the solution. See, correct thinking. Wrong notions create wrong thinking. Right understanding will remove the wrong notions. And when the notions are corrected, the whole life changes. Therefore, Vedanta removes the wrong notions without creating new notions. This is the beauty of Vedanta Shastra. We don't create new notions. Like if you take in Dharma or Yoga or devotion, Upasana, there what is done? That in Dharma, earlier I was a very bad person. I used to drink and I used to go to the gambling and all that. I never respected my parents, but now I do that. So that I is still maintained. Earlier I was bad, now I is good. In yoga, earlier I used to wake up at 10 o'clock. Now I wake up at quarter to 10. So that I is improved. See, in devotion, earlier I never used to go to temples. Now I don't come out of the temple because there I get free prasad. See, friends, therefore, the I is only changing the definition in these three paths. But when you come to the Vedanta inquiry, the I is not changed, the I is dissolved. See the difference? It is for this purpose we have to study Atma Bodha. This text is attributed to Bhagavan Shankaracharya and here he goes Tapo Bhikshina Papanam Shantanam Vitaraginam Mumukshunam Apekshoyam Ayam Atma Bodho Vidhiyate Ayam Atma Bodho Vidhiyate This Atma Bodho text is meant for whom? See First, tapo bhikshina papanam, those who have practiced tapasya. What is tapasya? Two things. Number one, discovery of freedom from dependence on things and beings. That is tapasya. We are all dependent on so many things. See? No dependence on anything or any being. That is tapasya. It is for that purpose, during, you know, the Chaturmas, when the people, they decide, now there are Chaturmas, four pe months period, we should not eat onion, we should not eat garlic, we should not drink, we should not eat non-vegetarian. Why? Because it is Chaturmas. By this, what is to be done? We have to discover that when four months we can live without it, it is not necessary for life. But what we do? After four months are over, we take the revenge. Even in the tea, we will add the garlic and the onion. Because four months I have not eaten. See, friends. So discover freedom from dependence on anything and being. As age increases, the woman becomes more independent and the man becomes more dependent. See? The reason is... Constantly that poor lady is available to that man for everything. For everything he has to ask, uh, should I put on this pant? So she said, don't put on pant, go without it. <laughs> everything they have to ask. They can't decide anything. You see. So discover freedom. 
नंबर वन सेकंड थिंग डिस्कवर सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस वी कैन डू इट दिस टू थिंग्स इफ दे रिजल्ट देन इट इज कॉल्ड एस तपहा तपो भी क्षीण पापा नाम द सिंस आर रिमूव्ड व्हाट इज द सिन दिस इज द सिन डिपेंडेंस इज मिजरी इंडिपेंडेंस इज जॉय सी फ्रेंड्स नंबर वन तपो भी क्षीण पापा नाम As a result, the mind remains immaculate, pure, undisturbed, and cool. Such a mind is qualified to study this. See, tapo bhik shira papa nam shanta nam. Those who are at peace with themselves, they alone are at peace with the whole world. Those who are at war with themselves. they cannot be at peace with the world we have to be at peace with ourselves shina papan then vitaragidam vitaragidam those who are no more hanging on anything or being around getting too much involved in anybody's life is no good don't get involved beyond the limits see in our uh, tradition in our country when a baby is delivered two thing two persons are born one the baby is born second the mother is born the baby grows the mother never grows and she complains about the child swami ji my son doesn't listen to me so you call that son hey come here why don't you listen to your mother and who is the son retired brigadier no what will you do with such a mother therefore vitaragina don't get involved too much up to a particular limit very good beyond that you have destroyed your life now let them destroy their life vitaragina then mumukshunam when we have totally withdrawn from the world now it is not out of depression mumukshuna now you want to enquire and discover total freedom see the intense longing to discover freedom from dependence mumukshuna now this atma bodha is meant therefore yesterday i told you evening class that vedanta is a gym it is not a hospital so unless we are qualified we will not be able to comprehend the truth revealed in this bodhonya sadane bhyo hi sakshat mokshaik sadanam pakasya vanyavaj jnanam vina moksho na siddhati when we cook the food everything is required you have to go for shopping but you must have the uh, paytm in your phone then you can buy the things after that you come home clean it properly cut it into pieces everything is required but the food is cooked only by the fire in the same manner karma is necessary upasana is necessary yoga is necessary but that is not the last point last point is unless it is cooked with the help of the fire the food is not cooked exactly the same way karmani chitta shuddhartham karma is done for the purification of the mind yoga is done for disciplining the mind upasana is done for making the mind single pointed and then such a uh, pure disciplined single pointed mind is available for enquiry with this enquiry alone the truth is revealed therefore here pakasya vanni vajnanam pakasya doesn't mean pakistanasya pak means to cook so for cooking the food ultimate last point is the fire in the same manner liberation is possible only through enquiry and knowledge see one example i'll give you then we go further 
when you stand in front of the mirror you know what you do when bird stands in front of the mirror what is the difference the bird starts taking the reflection to be a real something other than it therefore a enemy therefore starts pecking and starts bleeding its mouth is it not now that bird if he goes to ganga ji to take a snan if he gives a charity if he does the yoga if he does the pranayam will that reflection remove then what is to be done unless the bird comes to know it is merely an appearance you don't have to fight with it exactly the same way till such time we take this world to be real we take our body to be me we take you know god to be far away from us we will keep on struggling in life like the bird in front of the mirror but when we stand in front of the mirror we have that knowledge therefore we never get bored has anybody got bored standing in front of the mirror we on the contrary whenever we get bored we stand before the mirror this angle that angle <laughs> see friends therefore avirodhitaya karma na vidyam vinavarte karma is the result of incomplete knowledge be attentive first what is karma karma is action plus doership is equal to karma what is a deed a document plus authentication is equal to deed if you have got a document and if you are not authenticated it it is not considered as a legal document is it not exactly the same way action plus the sense of doership when we eat something on some wrong day suppose you are observing uh, monday as a fast and that day if you happen to eat uh, chicken immediately oh god i have eaten on this day i am supposed to observe fast now what will happen to me because i have eaten after the food goes inside do we feel bad oh god i have to digest so much of food no in case of digestion we don't have the sense of i am digesting the food and therefore when there is a constipation there is no sin when there is a dysentery there is no merit because there i is not involved so first karma is not the action but it is a deed number 1 second thing avirodhi taya karma na avidyam vinivartayet now the karma is born under three conditions number 1 we take our self to be incomplete Number two, we take the world to be other than us. Number three, we have a notion that my incompleteness can be removed by possession and indulgence with the worldly things, and as a result of this, the mind gets agitated, called as desire, and then we are prompted into activity. And when the sense of incompleteness is not there. when the sense of otherness is not there when the mind is not projecting as in deep sleep there is no karma see therefore karma is a result of ignorance incomplete knowledge therefore how can karma remove the ignorance vidya avidyam nihante eva tejas timire sanghavat therefore the right understanding alone will remove the wrong notions like the darkness is removed by the light and not by anything else if you want to remove the darkness by washing the room it will not go by dusting the room it will not go by putting the vacuum pump it will not go only switch on the light be very attentive if in a cave the darkness because never the sun has reached there the darkness has been there for millions of years will it take millions of years to lead the lamb there to remove the darkness in a fraction of second it will go age of the darkness has no consequence 
as regard the light is concerned. Therefore, don't ask this question, how many years it will take to remove the ignorance, as much time and efforts it takes for a wife to know that she is a woman. Wife is a reality, she has become woman. Man is the reality, he has become husband. They are not real. See friends, therefore, Vidya avidyam nihanti eva tedas timira sangavad parichinna iva kashe ivajnana tanna se sati kevalaha soyam prakashate yatmam megha paim shuman iva parichinna iva ajnana iva means as if because of the wrong notion what is our notion our notion is i am body Therefore, I am born, limitation by time. This is my size, 6 by 4, space. And this is my weight, 2 tons, object. So, Desha Kala Vastu. <coughs> this Desha Kala Vastu, time, space and object, these are the three things which we have imposed on ourselves and therefore we separate ourselves from others. But in deep sleep, these three limitations are discarded because we are not identified with the body, there is no sense of otherness, therefore there is no desire, therefore there is no misery, therefore we are happy, therefore a happy person makes a noise, therefore in sleep people snore. And happiness is never in a hurry. Okay. Have you ever seen somebody snoring hurriedly? Kar 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 kar. No. Very comfortably. Saptaswara. So there is no hurry. This joy of getting discarded as a body is meant over here. Parichinayeva Ajnanat is only because of the incomplete thinking. Please understand, Ajnana or Avidya does not mean absence of knowledge. Knowledge cannot be absent. I do not know Tamil. This I know, that I do not know. So how can I be ignorant? See, therefore, ignorance or avidya is not absence of knowledge. Therefore, parichine iva ajnanad. We know that I am, but I am mistaken. I am the body. So ajnanad. Then tanna she sati kevalaha. When the wrong notions about our identity is destroyed, then we come to know that I am undifferentiated, homogeneous, beginningless, without modification, endless, eternal presence. See? We don't have the experience of birth, therefore we are beginningless. We don't have the experience of growing in age, therefore all the old people cut a pathetic joke. Swamiji, can you tell me what is my age? And you tell them, you are 18 years old, but actually you are 81 years young. So the oldies feel very great joke. It's a pathetic joke. You are still holding on to the body. So we never experience we are growing. It is the grace of the society. When the first time addresses, Uncle, what is the time? First time you get a shock. Second shock we get when we are addressed, Dadima, please come and sit down. <coughs> so that lady please don't call me Dadi, call me Auntie. So we never experience we are growing. 
we never experience we die we died this is the truth now tell me what will you do sadhana we have no experience of birth no experience of growth no experience of death and no experience of our absence be attentive when there is no experience of absence is it wise to call that i am present this is that this is atma bodh you cannot have any question that is the reason i never entertain question answer sessions answers are only the eczema of the intellect that about which we have no question is the truth then why ask a question see परिच्छिन्न इव ज्ञाना तन्नाशे सति केवल केवल मीन्स द वन इन विच देर इज नो डिफरेंसिएशन ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ एनीथिंग मैन वुमन यंग ओल्ड रिच पुअर ऑल द डिफरेंसेस आर विथ रेफरेंस टू द बॉडी आइडेंटिफिकेशन देन स्वयं प्रकाशते आत्मा मेघापाए अंशुमान इव सो एज द क्लाउड्स मूव अवे the sun is already there sun is not created by the movement of the clouds on the contrary even the presence of the clouds is established because of the sun in the same manner the truth we don't have to prove we don't have to establish we don't have to see it is there but it is covered like the clouds are covering the sun in fact the clouds never cover the sun the sun is so huge the small pokey clouds they can't cover then what is happening the clouds are covering our vision and we superimpose that the sun is covered it is something like this my face is bigger than my finger you are far wider than me but if i put the finger right near my eyes very close i will see that all of you are covered by my finger in the same manner parmatma that we are we are covered as if because of this pancha koshas remove them the truth is revealed and removal is not by killing only by knowing that this is just not our business ajnana kalusham jeevam jnana bhyasa vinirmalam krutva jnanam swayam nashe jalam katakarenuvat in the muddy waters during the rainy season when there is a lot of mud in the water then what is to be done these days we have got filters earlier what they used to do take alum and tie down with a thread and in that muddy, muddy water or move that alum like this slowly and then it will form a scum on the surface of the waters and it will slowly start settling down along with that film of the scum the whole uh, dust particles in the waters will settle down and the pure water is surfaced exactly the same way here that is ajnana kalusham jeevan this jeeva the wrong notion that we are having that i am incomplete i am the body i am the soul i have done the sin or the merit i will go to hell or the heaven 
the this is the wrong notion now what will happen jnana bhyasad practice knowledge now be very attentive practice of yoga is every day you have to do the same asan do the same pranayam practice of yoga practice of devotion every day keep on chanting the same mantra hare ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 keep on doing do the puja same thing mechanically being done but when it comes to the practice of knowledge practice of knowledge is living in utter awareness 24/7 the moment you become disturbed immediately who is disturbed then you will come to know it is the husband wife brother father mother sister they are disturbed and the moment you discover oh it is the husband that is disturbed just discard that fellow he is useless don't worry i am basically a man by accident i become husband that's it see if we simply become aware of this at the root of at the base of as the seed of every disturbance there is some body sitting there see friends the moment you become aware of that some body or disturbance will disappear but what happens we take that somebody as real we don't work on that somebody and then the mind starts thinking be very attentive the thinking process gathers a momentum and when the momentum is gathered by the mind the mind cannot stop thinking it keeps on See, what is to be done? First of all, arrest the momentum gathered by the mind in the process of thinking, and that is achieved by chanting the Lord's name. Just be attentive. I want a cup of tea. Where it will be available? Where should I go? Should I go to the kitchen? but i don't know how to operate the gas i don't know what to do a sequence of thoughts is formed because one thought i want a cup of tea is not complete so to add completion to that thought second thought is born thoughts breeding thoughts creates a momentum and that momentum of thinking is called as worry contrary to that if you chant the lord's name shri ram jay ram jay jay ram complete momentum cannot be created again shri ram jay ram jay jay ram by this consciously chanting lord's name and observing that we are not creating a momentum of thinking in our mind then alone the mind dissolves but what happens these people who are doing japa they are also they dis- they create the momentum put the bag in their hand and then take out the finger outside and then hari ram hari ram 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 hari 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 krishna hari krishna hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari krishna hari and it becomes such a momentum if somebody disturb them they become angry don't this don't you see i am doing meditation and japa will great difficulty if you disturb hari ram hari ram ram is not a punishment friends understand this whatever we do its impact must be seen on the mind therefore ajnana kalusham jeevam jnana bhasat nirvinirmalam so when we thus again and again practice as to who is disturbed why this fellow is disturbed 
because he has given importance to somebody. So if we have given importance to somebody, we have to devalue that. <coughs> See, when we hear about somebody, that fellow, <coughs> he was drunk and he was caught by the police while driving, immediately what is our um, interaction? We become philosophers. These days children are so more useless, you know. They have no control. Their parents also don't teach them anything. No, but sir, we are talking about your son. Oh, my son! Immediately everything changes. See? Therefore, Ajnana Kalusham Jeevam Jnana Abhyasa Vinirmalam So when by this practice we come to know, see, these days WhatsApp is a very great source of wisdom. There were few Mahatmas going to Himalayas. So the um, reporter reached there also. Reporters go everywhere. Reporter asked, Mahatmas, why are you going to Himalayas? So they say, now WhatsApp is the biggest guru in the world. Therefore we are not needed. We are going to... <laughs> So that WhatsApp Guru has said, um, Jay Lalita has gone, but she has left Maya and Mamata behind. <laughs> they have not gone. We are waiting for their going. Ajnana Kalusham Jeevam Jnana Abhyasa Vinirvalam Krutva Jnanam Swayam Nashet. And when we come to discover that the one who is miserable is not me, all the mud of frustration will automatically settle down. Bhagavan says in Bhagavad Gita, Yadate moha kalilam buddhir vati tarishyati tada gantasi nirvedam shrotam vesya shrutasya your mind is so confused because of so much of hearing about so many things. And because of that, your mind is confused and you can never be contemplative in life. And about what the mind is confused? About the world, about our identity, about going to hell and heaven, sin and merit. And we just don't want to come out of it. When these wrong notions are discovered, we come to know nothing has ever happened. A great master wrote one very beautiful abhanga, and in that he writes, After crossing the river of transmigration, Bhavanadi, I was so thrilled, so happy. I wanted to thank my guru and wanted to see the river that I crossed. And I looked behind, and lo, never there was any river, nor there was any guru. I have not reached anywhere. I am that. See, friends. Ajnana Kalusham Jeevam. That which is lost because of ignorance, and that which is gained because of knowledge, was never lost, was never gained. Many times it happens, the key is in our hand and we are searching, I don't know where the key is left, where the key is left. Key is in the very much hand. And when we come to know, oh, I found it, you have never lost it. How can you find it? In the same manner, when we have discovered that wrong notions are dropped, the truth is not gained, it is revealed. See? Upanishad says, Yamai Vesha Vrunute Tena Labhyaha The truth is revealed to him who seeks nothing but the truth. Continuing further, now the practice of knowledge is given. Samsara Swapna Tulyohi Ragadvesha Adi Sankulaha Svakale Satyavadbhati Prabode Satyasadbhave Samsara Swapna Tulyohi Ragadvesha Adi Sankulaha and Svakale Satyavad Bhati. Nobody dreams the dream as a dream. Living the dream, the dream is the solid reality. See, observe your own dreams. 
Many times some bad dream happens and then we feel shivering and our heart beats has increased and we become perspiration and then we come out of the dream. If the dream was not real, why are you suffering so much? But during the dream, if a dream guru comes and tells us that this is a dream, we will listen to him. In Yoga Vashishta, in the life of Bhagavan Ramachandra, there was never fun. He was always a serious Ananda, all the time. Therefore, you see Bhagavan Ram always with the family photo, ready for photograph. Bhagavan Krishna cannot do it. 16,000, where is the, even your digital camera cannot catch him. Therefore, in his life, only one place, there is little bit of fun. And the fun was, when he heard from Bhagwan Vashishtaji that his world is an illusion, he got so frustrated, illusion, illusion, illusion. And then for what he did, he sent one elephant to run after uh, his guru, Vashishtaji. So the elephant was, uh, you know, chasing and Vashishtaji was running, running, running with his commander to Lungi and Khadao. And finally, he ducked and went to some lane, so the elephant went ahead. Bhagwan Ram said, Sir, you told the world is an illusion, so that elephant was running. Why did you run? It was an illusion. He said, Yes, my dear, you are right. The elephant was really illusion. So also my running was illusion. <laughs> I didn't run. See? Illusion means which appears but does not influence us. We see the dream. During the dream it is real. Svakale Satyavad Bhati. Pramodhe Sati. When we are out of the dream, the dream impact is gone. And if we are funny kind of persons, then we go to the Mahatmas and we say, Maharaj I had a very bad dream. Then Maharaj thinks, Bakra mil gaya. And then he says, this was a very bad dream. It is a bad omen. It will befall on your whole family. Oh Maharaj, what used to be? No, for this, everything, there is a solution. What for we are? See? And the dream was, there was a black cat and she climbed on the chest. And she just opened the jugular vein and like Coca-Cola, she drank the blood. Swamiji, what will happen? To whom? To the cat? <laughs> because your blood she has taken. Will she survive? No, 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 no. What will happen to me? You have to do some puja. Then for uh, 15 times on Monday, go to Shiva temple. Sixteenth Monday, you have to do puja. Meanwhile, arrange, maybe uh, one golden cat and the weight could be, maybe one kg should be enough. And then do puja and after that, that golden cat, don't give to Panditji, give it to me. Then what will happen, Maharaj? The worry of black cat will go and the worry of yellow cat will come. <laughs> Don't get carried away by all these. Therefore, Swakale Satyavan Bhati Prabho Desati Asat Bhaved. Therefore, those who are awakened to their essential nature, they will never like to improve this world. See, friends. All those who think that we have to do uh, something for the world and therefore we will start a school, we start a college. No Mahatma was ever told by any society to start a school or a college or a temple. It is their own khujli that they started. See friends, and then we get lost. There was uh, one Mahatma in Rishikesh. He was a Hatha Yogi and <clears throat> he had a big follower, <coughs> Westerners. 
and at the age of about 70 or so he was advised by his followers why not we start a good ashram this is the story of 30s and therefore don't worry about money we'll provide and he started and he was so frustrated he said my whole life has spent in chanting the Lord's name, doing yoga and all that. Now everything is dropped. Now I am counting how many donkeys have brought the cement, how many donkeys have brought the stones. Bhagwan has gone and donkeys are there in my mind. Even at the, in the dream, I dream the donkeys. Cement is coming. He was so frustrated. Why did I start this? Friends, this world has always been like this. There is nothing. Then we should destroy our opportunity to discover the truth. Tavat satyam jagat bhati shuktika rajatam yatham yavan naj nyayate brahma sarvadhishthana madhvayam Till such time the shell is not known as a shell, it will appear as a silver. The moment you discover the appearance of the silver, is essentially the shell in the same manner. The appearance of this world is merely the absolute truth and it is not real. Appearance is that which appears but doesn't exist. It was heavily raining and one lady came and knocked the door and the man opened the door. He looked at her and again closed. Again, after a few seconds, again there was a big bang. So he came with vengeance to scold her. Opened her. How many times I told you, don't bang the door? Wife roared. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you are that. I didn't recognize you. Because she came through the rains. So all the makeup was washed. You could not recognize her. Three friends. The day we remove this makeup of being miserable, being unfortunate, being ignorant, being a sinner, remove this makeup and see the joy. We are lost only in the appearances. So, Tavat Satyam Jagat Bhati Shukti Karajatam Yatha. Till such time, we don't recognize the shell as a shell, the silver will tempt us. Yavannas Nyayate Brahma. Therefore, there are two aspects of spiritual practice. Number one is discarding the illusion as an illusion and discovering the substratum supporting the illusion. Illusion cannot exist without substratum. And when the sub, uh, superimposed is removed, the substratum is revealed. Therefore, there are two aspects of spiritual practice. Number one, what I am not is rejected. See, natvam deho nendriyani na prano na mano na dhi vikaritvad vinashitvad drishtatvad cha gato yatha. You are neither the panchakoshas nor anything because like a part which is an object of knowledge which is subject to modification and which is destroyed ultimately all these three qualities are applied to all the panchakoshas. See? They are the object of knowledge, they are subject to modifications and they are subject to destruction. So if that part you cannot be, how this Panchakoshat can you be? Work on this. Friends, the whole spiritual practice, I will summarize it in two words. Number one, Dehatma Buddhi Tyagaha. Till such time, the body identification is not rejected. We have not taken one step on the spiritual path. Number two, we have to discard the notion that we are a soul, we are the jiva. Only these two steps, no third step. <coughs> now how do we practice this? <coughs> Should we kill ourselves? No. 
body will be killed you cannot be killed then only by understanding that is body if the body is something other than me i cannot be the body then don't start working then i am atma no 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 not that then start playing this what it is like being other than the body start working on it then you will come to know when we are not identified with the body as in deep sleep <coughs> we have no attraction towards worldly things so the practice that i am not the body is equal to worldly things attraction will cease to influence us that is the sadhana second thing when we have to discard the notion of the soul i am the soul how do we practice this none of the relations in this world will ever disturb us so put together these two things when we practice that i cannot be the body nor i can be the soul is equal to the impact of possessions and relations will have zero influence on us if these two things are happening then alone we are walking the spiritual path otherwise we'll keep on getting buried in this world so yavanna jnayate brahma sarvadishtha namadvayam we alone support the waking dream deep sleep samadhi they come and go but we are the same how many time the dreams have come and gone we have never become a dreamer how many time the waking experiences have come and gone how can we become a waker as much dreamer is an illusion that much the waker waker is an illusion like for every dream there is a separate dreamer exactly the same way for every waking experience there is a separate waker work on this or write an autobiography of a dreamer or don't write an autobiography of a waker our life is not only waker life has this four aspects waker dreamer deep sleeper and samadhi but we take only one fourth of it any conclusion drawn on incomplete data cannot be considered as valid see friends therefore yavann jnayate brahma sarvadhishthana madvayam till such time we do not discover the substratum supporting the knower known and the knowledge the experiencer experienced the and the experience till such time the samsar will continue to persecute us satchidatmani anusyute nitye vishnu prakalvita vyaktayo vividha sarva hatakai kataka divat like the ornaments are superimposed on the gold this is called as viparita bhavana be very attentive once i was going uh, somewhere by ship in a cruise and i was standing near the deck and watching the sea and the birds and the waves i was just watching so one of my friend came and asked me swami ji can you imagine how deep is the water in the sea here so i told him i don't answer wrong questions he said what is the wrong question here i said tell me the water is in the sea or the sea is in the water he says how oh, you don't bring me that the talk normal <laughs> see sea is the substance and water is the attribute or water is the substance and sea is the attribute think the gold is in the ornament or ornaments are in the gold what is the reality if you think 
the ornaments are the reality and gold is the substance then gold can be removed but ornament cannot be removed does it happen no therefore on the gold the reality the names and forms are superimposed therefore gold plus superimposed names and form is ornament see friends and when the ornaments are melted names and forms disappear gold remains barring the grace of the goldsmith see friends therefore vyaktaya vivida sarva hatake kataka adival so the names and the forms and the utility when these three things are important for us the world becomes real see now take the latest exam example when we used to look at the 500 and 1000 rupees note what was in our mind after 8th november 2016 look at the same thing now what is happening earlier value was superimposed on that paper now the value is de superimposed see and there so many whatsapp come one boy goes to a hotel take the plate and he say come on give some paper i have to clean it give tissue paper in place of tissue paper he is given one 500 rupees note <laughs> just a paper so on that paper earlier a value of 500 was superimposed now the moment it is removed it is just a paper see my friends in the same manner when we devalue the world devaluing the world is not getting influenced by the world that is all we don't have to destroy anything in this world see this understanding will lead to the discovery of the self so sachidatmani anusyute i the conscious blissful existence on which this whole world is superimposed be attentive it's a very subtle thought the objects are superimposed on the on the sense organs take one example i am seeing you all but when i close my eyes you are not seen so where are you you are not there you are in my vision for the blind person colors and forms do not exist so where are the colors and forms they are in the vision for a deaf person the sounds don't exist so where are the sounds the sounds are in the ability of hearing in short all the worldly objects of shabda sparsha rupa rasa gandha they are existing in the sense organs and what are the sense organs sense organs are nothing but the mind plus the gadget fixed there are not five minds one mind expressing through the eyes is called as vision the same mind same mind expressing through the ears is called as the hearing ability if the mind is not behind the sense organs no knowledge takes place like i am talking now see mind has already gone from where abhi khatam hi nahi hua swami ji ka bhi shuru garam ho raha hai is already the time see, the mind is running here and there therefore nothing is heard so the worldly objects are in the sense organs sense organs are in the mind and what is the mind naiva manasam mind is merely an expression of consciousness it is not reality the very this world see friends sachidananda atmani anusyute so the same gold is called as ornament in the same manner the same self is called as the world
when we call the water as ocean and when we call the water as the waves what we are doing we are abusing the water and when we abuse somebody we get punishment so what is happening we are seeing paramatma but we call it as a uh, world we are divine but we call ourselves as a soul and paramatma is not other than away from us but we make him ishwara and push him away so out of one because of the three conditioning three are created which are nowhere like i the man with reference to the conditioning of my father i am a son i the man with the conditioning of my wife i am the husband i the man with the conditioning of my son i am a father have i become three and who are miserable these three non existing entities are miserable when my father dies nothing happens to me the son because son is nowhere nothing happens to me the man because man has nothing to do with the father think when my wife goes away nothing happens to me the husband because without the wife i cannot be husband think friends and when my son disappears nothing happens to me the father because if this three are not there i continue to be the man but if the man is not there all the three cannot exist so which is the reality has the man become the son has the man become the husband has the man become the father no these three entities they are miserable who are non existing if somebody is not sleeping pretending that he is sleeping can you wake him up if a person is really sleeping in one call he can be woken up but when a person is pretending that he is sleeping you go and move him even that he will not wake up because he is not sleeping in the same manner when my wife went away the husband can never become a man because he is already a man he doesn't have to become only come to know this truth that is all we don't have to do anything so sachidananda sachidatmani anisyute nitya vishnu prakalpita so this eternal all pervading absolute conscious blissful reality the whole world is merely superimposed and what is the world world is nothing but two words name and form remove the name and the form and try to try to refer or talk to anybody see be attentive names or sounds or words they are created maintained and dissolved name sounds or words they are many but the silence is one uncreated and therefore when you listen to the silence world disappears that is why last night i told you don't talk to yourself number 1 and listen to silence number 2 do these two things together
this experience is atma bodh mind cannot exist without names and forms the sounds are dropped when we stop talking to oneself and listen to silence it is like pure water without any particular shape or size therefore in the water there is neither ocean nor waves but our attention goes to the totality of the waters and we call it as the ocean and therefore we focus attention on the waves and we say they are the limited and ocean is unlimited the water is beyond these two in the same manner i the conscious blissful absolute reality on which this world of names and forms is superimposed therefore in the deep sleep what is our form fat or thin man or woman young or old beautiful or awful none because there the mind is dissolved in the consciousness when this practice is again and again repeated and what is the practice don't react then only act reaction is creating samsar acting is creating drama on the stage all that is happening it is not a reaction is only action therefore everything appears to be happening but nothing happens that is spiritual practice yatha kasho rushi kesho nano padhi gato vibhu tad bhedad bhedavan bhati tannashe kevalo bhavet the space doesn't have any division but because of the conditioning of the relationship between the sun and the moon, sun and the earth we superimpose north east west south on the space if you go beyond the conditioning of the relationship between the sun and the earth which is the east which is the north which is the south we but when we take this as real then feng shui comes in your life then vastu comes in your life and then the vastu shastra that tells destroy your house and suffer silent see friends these are only superimpose tad bhedan bhedavad bhati therefore we sit tell our children beta don't sleep with your feet facing the south it is not good so you put the child in any way at night like the hands of a clock the child keeps on moving in the bed that time which direction are the feet therefore these are only imagined like the space is in and through all the directions in the same manner the one absolute reality alone supports the jiva jagat ishvara bhedah the impact of the panchakoshas is called as jiva impact of names and forms is called as jagat impact of the maya is called as ishvara but these three upadhis cannot condition the truth at all nanopadi vashadeva jati varna shramadayaham 
ಆತ್ಮನ್ಯರೋಪಿತಾಸ್ತೋಯೇ ರಸವರ್ಣಾದಿ ಭೇದವತ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಎನಿ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಾವರ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟಿ ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ಇನ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ man woman young old brahman kshatriya vaishya shudra none of them see once one catholic girl she has to be given blood and i happened to give her so when i gave her the blood she was survived and after about a week when i went to just see her how she is she said thank you swami ji because of you i survived i said that is forget about it my question is very important bottle is catholic liquor is hindu now who are you see who are you are you a christian or you are a hindu because of the body you are alive or because of my blood you are alive friends there is no difference on account of the these are only superficial only up to the level of the body so atmani aropita they are only superimposed on the same self in the deep sleep we are none man woman young old animal rich poor all the differences just dissolve up to here i been told this now from the 11th mantra onward we take what is the um, morphology anatomy of our personality and what is the reality behind it this we will take in our tomorrow's class before you sleep i must stop i think uh, we should make here strong tea available before the lecture begins so that you know when you take key here you will not be able to sleep om purnamadaha purnamidam purnaat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om